So if you ever seen those Instagram posts when the page owner is actually tagging an e-commerce product in the actual Instagram feed post, in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do it too. So let's get right into it. First things first, I'm right here into a Shopify account and it's pretty simple, um, straight to the point, we won't lose any time. Right here on the bottom, you see what it says, sales channels, you have this button. Now, I already have Facebook added as a tab, but in order to do that, you're just gonna hit this plus button here and Facebook is gonna show up um, somewhere either below Messenger or below uh, Google, but I already have it added in here. And when I click it, this is what it pops. So this is the window that it pops up. And he says, um, integrate it with your Facebook shop, sell your products on Facebook, sell your products on Instagram. Now, in order to do those Instagram posts where you can actually tag your products, you have to also set it up with the Facebook shop. So I'm gonna click here, start setup. It's gonna ask me to connect the account. I'm gonna hit yes. Obviously you're gonna put your Facebook password. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna hit continue as your name, obviously. I'm gonna hit okay. And now of course you have to connect the actual business manager of that page. So this is the one that I'm gonna use for this account. He's gonna ask you, of course, to integrate your Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page, obviously you're gonna have to go and create one. I'm gonna scroll all the way down till I find this one. It's a brand new account, Dog Bandanas. I'm gonna hit connect. Um, I'm gonna have to claim the page because it's not in a business manager. All right, so we're gonna have to go to Facebook Business Manager to add this page to the, um, to the account. So as you can see, I'm right here in the Business Manager. So you're gonna have to come to pages and then of course you have to claim the page. So I'm gonna hit add page. And of course, because I own the page, it's gonna add it to the account right away. So I'm gonna hit add page. Of course, it recognizes both the Instagram account that's connected to that Facebook page. I'm gonna hit add all because they both have to uh, be added. So I'm gonna have to log in into the Instagram account of that page. All right, so as you can see, we already have it here in the Instagram account too, on the Facebook business settings as well, right? So keep that in mind if you get this error in here, that's um, why that happens. So you're just gonna have to go back again. We may need to hit refresh or let's see, I'm gonna hit connect again now and boom, it connected again. Yeah, we're gonna skip this for now. Facebook commerce account. We're gonna have to create a Facebook commerce account in order to do this because we need a Facebook shop for this. So I'm gonna hit create new. I'm gonna create a new commerce account. We're gonna review the terms and conditions. I'm gonna hit yes. And boom, now it says our Facebook shop is connected with our Shopify account. And now let's do this for Instagram. So let's hit start setup for Instagram. It says that the Facebook account, the Instagram account was not approved for Instagram shopping. And I know why, yesterday I did a tutorial where the dog bandana Facebook account, I did a test product, so it didn't get approved. So now what we have to do is we have to go back to the Facebook shop on Facebook and actually um, appeal the error that happened on that account. So let's go into the Facebook commerce account now. What I had to do was I had to actually active, activate the Shopify store. So we're gonna have to copy this link and now we're gonna have to go to the Facebook shop and integrate this URL with the Facebook product. I mean, we have the same product on the Facebook shop, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that. So this is the Shopify account. So I'm just copying this link and I'm going to the Facebook commerce account now. All right, so when you go to facebook.com forward slash commerce underscore manager, it's gonna ask you to um, integrate your partner platform or start a shop from scratch. So I'm gonna sync a partner pro um, platform and I'm gonna say Shopify. I'm gonna have to go to the Shopify account. I'm gonna have to log in. I'm already logged in, right? So this is gonna actually integrate it automatically. So as soon as the integration is done, we're gonna have to customize 
the shop before we are able to activate the Instagram shopping. So, all right, so once we hit settings, it's gonna bring us to the actual Commerce Manager settings account. So we're gonna have to add items to our catalog. And of course, we're gonna add the product that we have from um, our Shopify store. All right, we're gonna add manually a product. We're going to grab the files that we just downloaded. We're gonna hit open. We're gonna say it's a dog bandana. We're gonna place the link from the Shopify store. We're gonna say it's $8.99, if I'm not wrong. We just double check, so it's $8.99. All right, now let's copy the description of it. So dog bandanas, it's actually the um, title. And we're gonna go into the description of this and just copy this entire thing. Paste it. We're gonna say it's brand new. Gonna hit next next another next finish and this should be all set now keep in mind it may take a few seconds sometimes it may take up to 24 hours to actually allow you to integrate this product now should allow us to do the integration with instagram again it may take a couple minutes to up to 24 hours sometimes they say in their terms and conditions it can take up to seven days and then of course with all the COVID delays and all that but let's give it a try again and if it doesn't uh, let us we just have to wait yeah so it seems it doesn't so we may need to just contact support but let's give it a shy real quick what do you want to I want to appeal a decision about a product, real dog bandanas. Business manager page you used to apply to Instagram shopping, dog bandanas. So what I say in here, it's going to be the actual reason that that happened. So essentially the reason that they denied my Instagram shopping application initially was the fact that I um, copy and pasted the Amazon product link into the Facebook shop uh, website um, checkout link instead of putting the Shopify. So that was just a rookie mistake uh, that I didn't realize at the time. So when I applied for the shop, obviously they denied it because you need either a Shopify integration or you just have to sell the product on Facebook and not have Amazon as a third party. So I'm gonna just write in here by mistake, I have added the checkout URL as an Amazon link instead of using the Shopify native integration. I have now corrected it and I would like to get the IG shop appealed and approved since is a physical product in the dog supplies niche. All right, and now let's uh, see if we can take a screenshot of that. We're just gonna have a simple um, screenshot of this. So let's say, let's see if it still gives us now, if you run into that issue, I'm gonna keep you guys posted, of course, with the appeal. So as soon as this is done, it's probably gonna take, again, a couple, um, I would say probably a couple hours to maybe a few days. And then as soon as it will be added here on the bottom, we're gonna see the Instagram shopping feature added. So I hope this was helpful to you, especially if you ran into any kind of issues with your application because pretty much that's what it happened here and let me know in the comments if you do uh, i'm going to do a follow-up when we actually do the post so we can tag those products and help you guys out with any other issues that may occur throughout this process so thanks a lot for watching guys don't go anywhere because in the next video coming up i'll actually show you step by step 
how you create and then promote your Facebook shops. So don't go anywhere because I'll see you in the next video.